Hi. So today's topic is evil. It's real and it does exist. Have you ever been to a place or been with a person that you like? That's evil. Um, I have made myself go to some of the most evil places in the world. I um, have a Polish friend, his name is Max. He invited me to come and visit him and see his country. And I insisted on going to the concentration camps there. And um, I wanted to see a place where pure evil had taken root. All right. Concentration camps, for anybody watching this video who don't know, um, that was the place where the Nazis exterminated uh, people that they wanted gone. The Jews were the biggest group, but there was also... Uh, mentally challenged people, uh, gay people, uh, religious leaders like priests, as well as gypsies and other groups that they wanted extinguished. And one of the most striking, ugly things about the place hit me is the deception. And that's what evil does. Evil lies. The devil lies. He's a liar. And evil will lie and divide. They were able to get people who had been sent there to, to be killed, to be the guards, to be the supervisors, to keep everybody in order. And they, they lied to everybody. There's a sign at the entrance to Auschwitz, and it says, Arbeit macht frei. And it, it says, work will set you free. Work will make you free. And imagine all the people coming into that camp Seeing that sign, thinking, well, if I just work hard enough, okay, well, this is a work camp. That's all they want from us is cheap labor, free labor. And if I just work and behave myself, I'll get through this. The deception was ugly. Just the way they told people, you know, you just go, oh, we're going to have hot showers for everybody. And that was where the gas took them out. There's a wall. Um at the entrance to Auschwitz when people came into the camp. And I consider it one of the ugliest walls in the world because in front of this wall, they always have a, a band playing to give a feeling of festivity and welcoming. And, you know, this is just a regular place and everything to everybody who came in there. Meanwhile, everybody was being sent there to die. Evil. They deceive and they divide. Hey, I had a chance to go to Cambodia. I had a childhood dream of always wanting to see the ruins of Angkor Wat. And while I was in Cambodia, I said, I want to go to the killing fields. This is a place where there was the Cambodian genocide. And um, there too, the evil was so, oh, so, so heavy. So heavy what they did. You know, the, the there were people, these people who did the murdering were um, communists. And they were rural people and they felt that anybody who had grown up in the city was educated uh had some money was their enemy and they concocted this elaborate scheme of trying to um you know get people to turn other people in lying to them saying okay you could go free but just give us the names of 10 people that we should be bringing in here to investigate and then those people would come in, and they would tell them each to tell another 10. And everybody was turning in friends and neighbors just to, you know, um, and enemies and everybody. They were doing this just to get free. And um, meanwhile, all of the innocent people died, over 600,000 people. It, it was ugly. Um, and again, what is it all about? It's, it, it was all about division, dividing people, and, um, and just lying. Lying and lying. So we don't have these concentration camps now. Maybe we do. I know that the Chinese do. They have people that are um, enemies of theirs that they bring into re-education camps. You know, if you're a person of religion, if you're a Muslim or you are a, a Tibetan, okay, or you are a member of a tribe or you are a Christian, uh, they have the same kind of things. Maybe they don't kill you, but they try to brainwash you. And it's ugly. So you and I may not have to face that kind of evil. But I want to 
I encourage you to do is to just to watch the way evil lies in your own midst. Okay? There's another God shot on the devil. And I do a pretty interesting monologue from a movie called Devil's Advocate in there. And that also fleshes out the game that the devil plays. Okay? The devil is real. Just like evil is real, the devil is real. And that we go into that with that other God shot. So, run from evil. Don't get caught up in its web. Okay, never allow yourself to be a perpetrator of evil. Have integrity, even if it means you pay a great price for it. And I always pray to be strong enough to do that myself. Okay, so I hope you will as well. Okay, God bless you. Keep shining. Yeah, yeah, yeah.